On a pleasant good Saturday morning, it's the 24th day of July. Um, well, the Dodgers have lost three in a row now. Our bullpen's been depleted. Our offense is missing. I mean, Max Muncy just gave, his Max Muncy's wife just gave birth to their first child last night. So that's why he's on paternity leave. And yes, that is a missing piece of our lineup too. And uh, Mookie Betts is still on the injured list because of a hip irritation. And Corey Seager still is not quite ready yet. He's still rehabbing. And uh, Cody Bellinger might go, he's day to day right now because of hamstring tightness. But at least he had two extra base hits last night. And Justin Turner hit another homer. And Chris Taylor has been having a great second half as well. I mean, I think he's doing a good job at short with Lux going to, I heard Lux is going to be out for quite some time now. And well, Tony Gonzalez going to be pitching tonight. So it's Catterday. And the Angels lost last night too, five to four. So I guess what happened with the Angels and the Dodgers, you know, they had high ex expectations this year to at least get to the postseason. I mean, the Angels trailed the second wild card by like seven games. But it's going to be an uphill battle for the Halos. Well, I think the Dodgers are going to make the playoffs for the ninth straight year, but winning their ninth straight division title is going to be pretty hard to do. But, I mean, the Atlanta Braves re won 14 straight division titles. If not for the strike in 94, they would have been to the playoffs 15 years in a row. Same for the Yankees. They, they, they probably would have reached the playoffs. Uh, 14 years in a row. Yeah, if not for the strike, you know. That would have been Don Mattingly's best chance to play in the World Series. And so, uh, yeah, we've lost 9 out of 10 games in extra innings, or 10 out of 11. And I don't like the extra innings rule either. And uh, when you put a runner on second... Well the, well, the good news is that's going to be eliminated next year. So we can start extra innings with the bases empty, which I think is better. And uh, we can't wait to get our whole team healthy again. And, um, and same with the Angels, too. I think both teams are cursed. And by the way, the Cleveland baseball team will have a new name next year called the Cleveland Guardians yeah it's just like back in 2008 the Tampa Bay Devil Rays became the Tampa Bay Rays 2004 the Washington Nationals became a new franchise after playing in Montreal as the Expos for 35 years and the Nationals have had success since relocating and then you have the Angels as well and uh, and the Marlins yeah changing names changing cities yeah it's Cleveland Guardians Cincinnati Reds yeah when the Giants used to be in New York they were called the Gothams and the Dodgers used to be known as the Brooklyn Robins and um, also a happy birthday going out to Barry Bonds and to Rick Fox and to Carl Malone. And a happy birthday to J-Lo and to Mara Wilson. And of course to my brother David. And a happy birthday to the late Peter Serkin. And a happy birthday to Robert Hayes. And so it, this is how it goes, you know. The Tampa Bay Lightning did repeat as Stanley Cup champions. And of course, the Kansas City Chiefs went to the Super Bowl two straight years. This is why it's so hard to repeat in terms of going to the championship round. 
And uh, so, yes. Let's just hope and pray the Dodgers end this three-game losing streak. At least the Giants lost last night. So we're only two and a half back. So we did pick up a, a little bit of ground. When the Padres just kept winning last night, the A's lost to the Mariners. So many of these games are have high expectations. So meanwhile, have a good rest of your Saturday, and I'll talk to you later. All right, let's go Angels, and let's go Dodgers. Amen.